It's definitely louder. Nice. The boys breathe. I did see some comments and also in Twitch chat. Some people were finding the, the videos and the stream too quiet. It should be 15% louder now. From 35% to 50%, so it's like 15% louder. Should be a noticeable difference, yes. The battle begins. Yes, we have a battle plan. Am I a player here? Am I making the sickest place now? Hell yeah, I am. And I run right into this guy. <laughs> I'm gonna lose HP. Nice tree, bro. I took both runes, stop. Amazing. Because I wanted to cool down the pop as quickly as possible. My bad. Tiny does not have stun, so... Normally, it's extremely terrible. It's super bad. If I end up in front of the tiny because after Shibuchi. The, the only time I can do that is now, on level 1. If I Shukuchi and I... Show myself in front of the tiny. He combos me, he hits me, I die. I'm a weaver, very squishy. And he, and he bursts. The way Tiny kills you is with huge burst. That's why Tiny is good against Weaver. Because Weaver is, is squishy and then Tiny just bursts him. But if he doesn't have stun, I'm okay to do that. Because I wanted that CS. It's all about that one CS. Enemy lane becomes way stronger with levels. Tiny gets a point on stun now. They have huge kill potential because they have two stuns. Grimstroke is a broken ass hero. So their lane just becomes way stronger right now. Out of region. He's gonna pull now. Huh, ah, Medusa. Okay, that's a good trade for the Grim, I guess. Uh, that was uh, bad for me. I shouldn't have gone aggressive at all. Oh, I cancelled the south, that's big. He has no mana on Tiny. But I'm not gonna kill him. I can kill this guy, I guess. And meanwhile, Bloodseeker gets a lot of damage because Tiny is running to base with very low HP. That's nice too. Sisters three once more. Okay, runes are coming out in forty seconds. 
particle is dead. Space for me. I'm using the space to push the lane. I'm auto attacking the creeps. I want these creeps to go as close to the enemy tier 1 as possible. So now Tiny has to choose between rune and creeps. He chooses creeps, I go for rune. Lane is gonna push again, that's okay. Grim is going to be back and that means his Q ability, I think it was the Q. The more units it hits, the more damage it deals, I right? So, so, with this many creeps in lane, if I sit behind the creep wave... Nice. I'm gonna take a lot of damage from the Grim's ability. Paying attention to those things is pretty important, actually. That's why it's important to play or at least know what other heroes do. Play all heroes or know what all heroes do and how their abilities work. I need a bottle, I'm a weaver. Bottle is super good on this hero. Now I don't care if I'm behind the creep wave, it's only one creep wave. Earlier it was two. He didn't actually drop it. didn't really hit Grim. Yikes. We should try. Miss two bottom. Gabe Newell. Well played. Thanks for playing Dota 2. Double kill. Yeah, this lane is... If the lane is played normally, if it's like static lane, I think they would win. But when the lane is chaotic like this, I think we, are, we have advantage. Something like that. I think I'm gonna make a uh, Diffuso Blade first item this game. Thanks. Diffuso Blade is good against Ursa. The slow kites him. The mana burn is annoying. Ursa doesn't do anything with mana. PL doesn't do anything with mana either. He cannot double ganger to survive. So if I get to burn PL's mana, it's huge. If I just get to do that. It can kite tiny a little bit as well, maybe. And it gives me kill potential. In this game, I need to be a killer. Diffusal is good kill potential. Because I have a Medusa, who is a space taking hero. All he wants to do is just farm. Oh shit. Like all Medusa wants to do is just farm. 
for a really long time. Your top tower is under depending what items and how many items he needs to win the game. Whatever, it's we not it's not my game. thing. It, I'm not playing the Medusa, I don't have to worry about that. I don't want to think about it even. I'm more interested in runes right now than in uh, farming because I have a bottle. Yeah, I'll get both, don't worry. Uh, PL is level 4? No, wait, he's level 5, my bad. So, Weaver is really good lane and tower pressure, and I will be doing that. But in this game, I also need some early kill potential. Need to have some kill thread. Together with Bloodseeker, maybe we can kill heroes. Our supports are super like defensive passive supports. What are this guy doing? Three top space boys. Our supports can't really make stuff happen too much. Leech Oracle. So we need to be very aggressive. Diffuse is good to be aggressive. This guy is alone in lane right now. But yeah, we're gonna miss a lot of creeps if we go for him. We don't really want that. Tiny went bottom. Killing spree. Radiant structure. You get in there? Oh, Alright, thanks. Actually, I should maybe max swarm. Mm. I'm getting diffusal, and the double hit from Geminate is really good with diffusal. Double mana burn and more damage. I forgot to finish a uh, magic wand. Your top tower is under attack. Mm, the PL has nothing. Wait, I took... On level 8 I thought I took the swarm, that's why I made the comment about... Ah. Can I bottle the region? Thank you. Dominating 
performance. Ownage. PL beats Medusa. Uh, I'm actually not a hundred percent sure about the matchup. The matchup, I I think Medusa beats PL. Or I don't know. It's maybe even. PL burns mana, which is very good against Medusa. Oh, he placed a sentry here. Don't take runes, man. Your middle tower is under attack. What you doing, bro? Huh. I really wanted that kill, you can tell. It's okay. Can we get a tower here? Oh no, we get a crimson. Nah, no, nah, no, defend top better. Your top tower is under attack. Dark structures are fortified. It was just a phase. I'm coming bottom, we can drop jerk whoever comes. I think the air is a TP there. Blink on tiny. Radiant structures are fortified. Your middle tower is under attack. The enemy's top tower has fallen. I forgot how annoying the bugs are for Tiny, so Weaver is really good against Tiny. He doesn't want to use three toss, I mean three charges. To kill the swarm. And his attack speed is not not very fast unless he buys attack speed items. Your top tower is under attack. Your top tower is under attack. Yeah. 
Yeah. We could take Roche maybe. Yeah, go Roche. Just do what the team does, don't play on your own, man. Come. We don't care what you think, come. Like literally you follow your team if if they go if they go for Roche. I don't care if you think pushing tier 2 is better. I can think Roche is better, but if four of my teammates are pushing mid, then I'm gonna push mid. Like that's just how it is, man. I'm gonna get runes. Does status resistance reduce bug time? No. No? I don't think so. No. I am 90... 97% sure it does not. Uh, this is a really bad move. Bloodseeker was dead and I'm taking runes. You cannot be there. Bloodseeker was dead, guys. Double kill. We need to chill. Your middle tower is under attack. Medusa's ultimate removes PL illusions, but he has doppelganger. He can play around the ultimate with doppel. I see more of the pattern. tower is under attack. Not yet. Dire structures are fortified. They tip it here. Three of them use TP. They'll be split and not help each other now. Bloodseeker, let's pick off. Let's kill people. Bloodseeker and Oracle. No need to smoke, I think we just run at somebody. That was not exactly like I thought. I thought peak off, but we actually took a team fight, but we won it, so it's good. Since three of them use TP, right? One top, two bottom, then if we kill top, bottom cannot assist. Because they all have cooldown. Nice discipline, nice back there. You'll have a 
your case in the pattern. They smoked on him. They're all here. Dyer's courier has been killed. And we use the courier exactly where Bloodseeker dies. And Lich is there too. Now Oracle goes there to die as well. Don't fight them here, just push top. Get the bounties. Mid is pushing in, so they'll have to back. We'll have to back. Yeah. You will have to back. I'm coming, I'm coming. What's up, PL? Very good. Very good. What's up, brother? Your bottom tower is under attack. Not ready. Your bottom tower is under attack. The enemy's top tower has fallen. Your bottom tower is under attack. Arsakase Basha. Nice save. Let me do the hit. Okay, help him. Holy fuck, mate. What just happened? Did we take Rax? Oh, we didn't even take Millie. If we took Millie, it's okay. Those two buybacks, right? Two buybacks. No TP on this guy. Why are you running? Why are you running? It's shrines. Are you? Bruh. Okay then. Well, my bad. I got out skilled clearly. Why are you running? Where's my Medusa's farm? 30 minutes bike? After 30 minutes of free farm? That's not all of them.
Oh, come on, man. I didn't do it fast enough. He's dead anyway. Oh, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to click out. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, they don't have buybacks, right? Game is over. We won. Actually, when Ursa killed me here, he got like four hits on me. I was not expecting a bash because he doesn't have overpower. With overpower, he kills me in one bash. But he got four hits on me. I should have kept my distance. I, um... I was right next to him. Which allows him to hit me four times. If I kept my distance a little bit, he would have hit me maybe twice instead of four times. And he... Probably wouldn't have gotten a bash. So it's like... It's like... He doesn't have overpower, but I let him hit me four times, so... Mm, expecting him to not bash from four hits, it's, it's... Yeah. It's not that smart. Whatever, it was a funny moment. We can forget that that ever happened. Everything is good. <laughs>